Hi everyone, it's me, Laura Brockway, here in my war room in Munster, Indiana, in the Diocese of Gary, where the Holy Angels are our patrons. And I like to pray the Angelus every day at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and 6 p.m. exactly. So I just wanted to pray the Angelus here with you today. So I hope you will join me. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of Christ your Son by the message of an angel, so by his passion and cross we may be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord, Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As you can see, the Angelus is a short prayer. I believe that uh, it is supposed to be prayed at 6, 12, and 6. Uh, it is about obedience. It's a beautiful prayer. Thanking the angels, thanking Mary, thanking Jesus. It's all about Jesus dwelling among us. And here in the Diocese of the Holy Angels, I have begun to pray this every day at the appointed times, just like I pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet at 3 p.m. And I also pray the St. Michael Chaplet every day. I have started praying to the Holy Angels uh, for their intercession, for their strength, because they are leading this battle for us. And I truly believe that that we can strengthen them by praying for each other, by praying for them, by invoking them. In fact, I, I read that it is a prophecy that if you pray the St. Michael Chaplet once, one angel from each of the nine choirs will accompany you up to communion. And if you pray it every single day, it's said that they will accompany you everywhere. So I've begun to pray it every day here in the Diocese of the Holy Angels and at Ground Zero for Angels. And I hope that you will begin to pray it every day as well as, as along with the Angelus. And I love you, my brothers and sisters. God bless you. I will see you soon for more prayer.